Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Convos and Coffee Christmas Edition. Well, this is going to be the last Convos and Coffee before January, and we'll be back then. But I just wanted to share something with you that uh, really came alive to me in this past week. I actually wrote about it on social media and how sometimes when you read the Word of God, the words leap off the page and go right down into your soul. And this is something I've known my whole life, this, this passage of scripture, but it really spoke to me this weekend, especially in light of Christmas being just a few days away. The Bible tells us in um, Isaiah 9 verse 2 this, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light and those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. We all know that Jesus is the light of the world. He's also the light of life. And when it comes to light, without it, there actually is no life. And people like plants, we lean towards light. We love the sunshine. We love the daylight. We even like the light of the moon. And in fact, in some places where there isn't a lot of sun, there's a seasonal uh, affective disorder. It actually really impacts the quality of life when we don't have light. Remember summer with those long days? The sun would set at 9.30, quarter to 10, just amazing. We're drawn by light. We love light. Jesus said that he was the light of the world in John 8, 12. And he said, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The thing about Jesus, he just doesn't shine a light. He is light. He is life. And he offers that to us. It's kind of like walking and stumbling in darkness and having great fear and anxiety over that darkness and all of a sudden a light is put on your path and it's illuminated and you actually start to see and your heart calms instantly that's what jesus is like in our lives we are alive before him but when he comes and the holy spirit comes into our lives and breathes on us it's like we come to life in the truest sense in the, in the way that we were always meant to be the way that god intended us to live. It's it's exciting. He, he gives us hope and security. And not only does he bring that light into our lives, the word goes on to say that you become the light of the world. Now that really changes our lives. Thinking that wherever you go, we are the light of the world. It says in Matthew 5, 14, 5, 14 to 16, you're the light of the world. A town on a hill can't be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see good deeds and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. This light that's in us is available to everyone. And at Christmas time, I really feel the light of Jesus can shine even brighter. He dispels the darkness. He floods it with an unparalleled brightness and a warmth. And I wanna remind you this week, you are the light of the world. You are lit up with the light and life of Jesus in your life and that light can spill into every circumstance and every problem and every difficulty to you and to all those around you. And I know this Christmas is not going to be the easiest one for many. Some people are alone. Many of you can't be with your family, but that light of life is not diminished. He's in us, abiding in us, spilling that light if we let him to everyone around us. And that really does change how we live our lives. There's a Christmas song that says this, said the king to the people everywhere, listen to what I say. Peace, pray for peace, people everywhere. Listen to what I say. The child, the child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. He will bring us goodness and light. May that light flood your life this week and in the year ahead. Merry Christmas from our house to yours. We love you.